Hey, what's going on guys? It's your man CJ. All right, so I just ordered some wireless cameras, secret cameras, or let's just say cameras that you really wouldn't notice. These are actually light bulb cameras. So really uh, what this is, is a light bulb that goes into the, you know, out, outside light where you would put your light, light bulb. And the camera is underneath of the light bulb. So a normal person would not recognize this to be a camera. They would think that it's just a light bulb. So I've never seen this before. I think it's pretty cool. The camera's right there. There's a speaker. It does act as a normal light bulb. It will shine a light, but the camera's on the bottom and you can speak to whoever it is. So one thing you have to just be cautioned about is will this fit inside of the casing of your outdoor light i did measure my outdoor casing and it did seem the the size would fit so that's one thing i would caution you about this is a 360 degree panoramic view so the camera is going to point downward and i'm only going to be able to see in a circular motion downward. I'm gonna plug them in. We're gonna see how it looks. I actually ordered three of them because I have three lights, which is perfect actually. I have a front door, side door light, and a back door light. I will plug this in and I believe it has an app and we're gonna go ahead and check it out and I give you an honest review about these. It was $105 for three of them. I got a 5% discount. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so I just plugged in the camera. It was a little tighter than I thought. It did fit in there nicely. I had to just snug it in a little bit. It just said system is starting and it lit up. Start off completed. There you go. Access point preparing. Okay, so it's, now it's flashing blue. Access point ready. Now it's just saying it's ready to connect to the app. So the app is called V380 Pro, that is the app. All right, I entered my Wi-Fi password. I went to the device on the Wi-Fi and it's connected. Please enter your device name. I'm gonna name this front door. Wi-Fi connected. Okay, so it's connected. Let's go ahead and look at the view. See what this looks like. Looks like you can also arm it and disarm it. Okay, and that is the view. Looks like I can move it around. Wow. That's actually really cool. Now it is only a panoramic. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see, you know, out so much, straight out, but I can see down. I can see if there's somebody on the steps, somebody who's maybe taking a package, does have different features. Now here in the main app, it says disarm. If I arm it, basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna pick up any motion. If there's any motion detection, it's going to snap photos and it puts it under the section called housekeeper and housekeeper will show all the photos that it takes pictures of. Unfortunately, it does cost money to save video footage on the cloud. You can use their cloud service, but I'm not going to pay money for a cloud. I really don't care about that so much. Um, I know some people do, but I mean, just to have the video alone and to have pictures taken for free, I think that's pretty cool. There are other features here. If you click on more, you can do display mode, inversion. You can do light control, image settings. If you want to hold down the speaker button to speak to someone, you can do that. You just hold down the button in the middle here and you can speak to whoever's outside. So I think that's pretty cool. You can take a picture right now. You can record right now if you want to. So you can do these things without having to pay for money. If you do want to get the cloud services, there is different prices. And some of them are actually not too bad in price, but it all depends on you, know, you as a user of what you're looking to spend money-wise if you're willing to spend money. Looks like right now they're offering 20% off so they have different uh, packages, basic, standard, advanced, and professional. I don't know if I would get involved with paying for this stuff, but if you really want to pay for it, go ahead. You know, they have 20% off, but I'm just going to use the free service for now. Now, one thing I have noticed is if 
the plants are moving it will take pictures because it sees motion it sees plants swaying so it is very sensitive to motion but guys you know if this is something that you're just looking to you know to use something simple to use uh as a camera and not have to actually let's say you know pay for a camera system you can you know this is just a light bulb and it does act as a normal light bulb at nighttime the light does shine and it's pretty cool i'll show you that as well okay so this is what it looks like nighttime um, you do have the option in the settings to actually turn off or on the light okay so that's with the nighttime the nighttime lighting it's actually looks like a legit just normal bulb obviously there's something black there you can you see it's a camera but you know normal people from a distance wouldn't know that that's actually a camera you can only see to about here you know and then up so you can't see anything frontal view it's only a downward 360 degree circle view and that's as far as you can see so like i said i have three areas where i can put the security camera bulb uh, on the side of my house in the back however the outer casing will not work for the side in the back i'd have to buy a whole new casing fixture because it's too tight where this one it actually worked and actually it was a little tight getting this in here but it still managed to go up so would i recommend this camera to you if you're interested in buying this light bulb this light bulb security camera i would definitely recommend it if you're looking for something you know that's not expensive that you have to keep paying for it's a one-time payment so yeah i would recommend it what would i rate this i'd probably give it a seven out of ten uh, there are some things that you know overall it's not a bad idea or camera it's just that certain things i probably would want a little better as far as uh the nighttime not as bright as the daytime the motion detection is constantly taking pictures so under housekeeper there's just you see it has motion detection it's picking up plants i really don't care about the plants where i know newer cameras today can avoid that only picking up more moving objects not natural you know plants and whatnot but it's not a bad camera it's not a bad idea so if you're interested in this camera i'll put the link in the description for the website where you can purchase this camera like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in the next one peace